You're watching the Business Channel, creating business class programs. D. Ice, our winter maintenance specialists in the UK, and with me is the MD, Vicky Lopez. Hello to you. Hello. Now, presumably, you don't want your clients to wait until it snows and then call you. No. Ideally, what we would like to do is to be able to provide everybody with a snow clearance and gritting program that's in place before the cold weather hits. The preventative treatment and attending before snow is actually on the ground is paramount to keeping the site as clear as possible for as long as possible. So how does that work? You, you go and see them in the summertime, do you? Yes, any time sort of between April and November, we can visit, do a site survey, provide site-specific risks and methods statements and provide a winter program that's bespoke to the site. Now, what sort of things would that include? Would it be um, gritting car parks and pathways? Yes, primarily anywhere where you've got either cars, vehicular movement and pedestrian movement, then those are the areas that we'd grit. Car parks, pathways, fire exits, making sure that all the areas that need to be covered are covered when frost and ice are, are predicted. Now, you are keeping an eye on the weather and so you inform your clients, do you, when uh, snow is on its way? That's right. Not just snow, but um, frosts and ice. Basically, once the parameters of a contract have been set up, we monitor the weather on a daily basis. And then by the afternoon, we'll inform the customers that a call out has been effected for that evening and we'll attend the site between, generally between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. the next day. Now, people only pay if there is snow and if you're called out. Now, how does that work for you? Because if you don't have snow one whole winter, then how do you make money? Well, we don't just deal with snow. Um, when heavy snow falls, we send in snow plows and snow clearing equipment. Uh, the main gritting that we do is for preventative treatments for snow and ice. And that can be on the ground when you've got a lot of rain, you've got uh, moisture and dew points that are very low and it doesn't have to be at a specific temperature from zero degrees. The main physics of it is that water freezes. So from zero degrees below, if there's enough moisture, precipitation or the dew points are high enough, then you'll get frost and ice on the ground. And that's where uh, our preventative treatments come in. Now, we've heard stories uh, previously on the news that people have been running out of grit or running out of salt, but you never have. Now, how have you managed that? Well, we work very hard um, at keeping the relationships with our supply chain, working with them, and we have strategic locations where we keep stockpiles of salt throughout the winter and, in fact, throughout the year. We buy salt in the summer, stockpiling for the winter months, and during the periods where other contractors were running out of salt, our supply chain was such that we were able to get extra deliveries in at these strategic locations. So we were able to service all of our contracts and other people that had been let down. Now, presumably, it's not just the risk of accidents, people falling over, but um, delivery vans and things could actually be out of action if they can't get out of, a, of an iced-in car park. Absolutely. Many of uh, the customers that we now have on proactive contracts come to us in the middle of winter when their car parks are, uh, are iced over. And in one case, yes, we were able to help a logistics company whose car park um, was sheet ice and whose delivery trucks had run into a, a stationary vehicle. We sent in the gritters, they gritted that evening, the next morning, and then a proactive preventative program throughout the rest of the winter uh, stopped any further incidents occurring. Now, your staff are contract staff, so they only work seasonally, but how do you make sure that they are giving the quality that your customers expect? All of the contractors that work with us adhere to all of our internal policies. They are trained by us, they're fully insured, and they have the correct machinery to carry out the job. Everything that we use is specific to gritting. The machinery that we use is specific to be providing that service. We attend overnight to avoid disruption and the contract managers for the sites do spot checks on the work that's carried out. You're also thinking of doing something that your competitors aren't, which is you're going to hedge weather futures. Can you tell that's me about right. that? That's right. Both my husband and I run the company, are from a, a, a city background, and we have been looking into dealing of uh, insurance certificates and weather futures and options to hedge 
the risks for the larger companies that are associated with, uh, with adverse weather. Is that something that your clients are interested in? Yes, certainly. I think any, anything that can help them hedge their exposure because in a mild winter they won't spend as much money or have as many visits. But in the winter of 2009-10 and 10-11, which was the worst in 30 years, there were a substantial number of visits that were made that hadn't really been budgeted for. So this will help alleviate some of the financial burden that resulted in. Well, how important is innovation in your business? I'm thinking maybe a few years ago everyone used grit and now it seems to be more salt. Are we moving in a, a certain direction with de-icing? Yes, certainly innovation is important in all businesses, but I think for us, moving away from the brown grit to more environmentally friendly white salt and innovations in the spraying of brine, pre-wetting of salt and the use of chlorides is innovation for the future and that we're trialling at the moment. So how do you see the company developing over the next few years? Well, DICE is already a market leader for the reliability and professional services that we provide. What we'd like to do is to continue to grow in this area and our overreaching ambition is to provide a one-stop shop within grounds maintenance, FM solutions and winter maintenance. Well, Vicky Lopez, thank you very much. Thank you.